Okay, so this is day three of the Reading Rush Challenge. I'm here in my backyard. Uh, the challenge for today for that I've chosen to do is to stay in one place all day to read your books. So um, we are having a big backyard uh, play date today with my kids. We're doing a big camping thing where we're going to camp in the backyard all day and play uh, camping games and campfire songs and have marshmallows and um, <laughs> do stargazing and a, and a campfire and hot dogs and all that kind of stuff later. So we're basically camping in our backyard for the day so this is where I'm gonna be reading all day um, I'm doing a combination of stuff today I'm doing some picture books and I'm gonna start a middle grade novel as well I am NOT aiming to finish that middle grade novel my goal is to be able to read about four chapters is my goal for today so we'll see if that works um, I've already read my first two uh, picture books for the challenge we did that with my kids and um, we read the books in our tent that's set up so I'll show you guys the setup we have here so we have set up our tent here and we're camping in it for the day. This is where we read our first two picture books. So these are the ones that I'll be telling you guys about. Um, and they were lots of fun and they're sort of to do with camping theme anyway. <laughs> and you can hear my kids running in the background. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing for day three. I'm super excited about it. And uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so as I mentioned, I already read my stories, uh, my picture books today with my kids earlier this morning. We um, are outside doing a camping outdoor day and we have a tent set up and we uh, went in the tent and we read some stories already and so I have some picture books ready to review. Um, the first one is The Imaginaries, Little Scraps of Larger Stories by Emily Winfeld Martin. This is one that you may remember from our last video, The Most Anticipated Reads of 2020. This was a picture book that I really wanted to read and we read it this morning and it was amazing. It did live up to my expectations. I was so excited about it and so were my kids and it was so much fun to do together. Um, this was the story, just a little refresher, that has these beautiful paintings um, that with like one sentence that goes with it and that one sentence is meant to spark your imagination and you kind of build a story around it and that's what we did. So that's that was really fun. I wanted to show you a few pages that I was excited about with my kids. Um, this first one here with the giant squid with like one tentacle just kind of reaching up over the water to reach towards the ship. I thought it was a really cool illustration, very evocative, uh, really would like spark your imagination. And of course, I'm still reading All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. And um, that is a book that's a YA fantasy that's set uh, in an ocean kind of universe. And um, there's, you know, pirates and mermaids and all these cool uh, mytholog mythological creatures that are to do with the sea and so um, they may or may not have a monster in there I don't want too many spoilers but it's kind of reminiscent of this reminded me of it right away a scene that's in that book there was another painting that uh, both my kids and I loved because it was just like really again evocative and, and um, sparks the imagination it's like a sea serpent kind of monster talking to a girl and you can just imagine how that would have come to be how would that girl be talking to a sea serpent what kind of world are they in what kind of story um evolved from this is she friends with the sea monster is she not and you know so there's lots of cool uh, questions that came out of that and a lot of fun so today i'm reading a tale for the time being by ruth ozeki and i'm reading it on audiobook and so far it's really good um, I'm reading outside because it's a gorgeous day. I've got the dogs here just chilling with me. And um, yeah, so far the book's really good and I hope to continue reading it and finish it sometime today. So Mode and I are just going to go for a run and we're going to continue to listen to the book on audiobook as we run. So I'm at the end of day three of the Reading Rush Stay Home Challenge and I am reading this book, the All the Impossible Things by Lindsay Lackey. I set a goal for myself to read about the first four or five chapters today. Um, and I'm happy to say that I met that goal, yay! So All the Impossible Things by Lindsay Lackey is a story about a girl named Red who is a foster girl and she moves from home to home and um, the homes are not ones that are happy homes for her. She doesn't have good experiences there and she just is tired of doing that and she um, has a mom who she 
still loves and wants to get back to her mom, but it sounds like her mom is in prison maybe and she isn't going to be released for a little while, so she's uh, still having to wait a certain number of days until she's released and she can see her mom again. Um, so the story starts off with her moving to a new foster home and uh, we learn that she has this like weird affinity with wind and something kind of happens where she um, when she gets upset and like her the inner turmoil that she's going through reflects in the weather outside so uh, she was really upset about being kicked out of her foster home that she was in um, and that was reflected in the storm that was taking place outside and it was just all very beautiful lyrical writing and kind of like this haunting descriptions of how her um, heart felt like uh, or that she said she was having a deep I'm trying to remember the exact line she was having a deep moment where um, her her heart felt like it was deep and full of holes and dark like a like her pocket um, and it was just like the, that kind of imagery and, and the wording of it uh, really jumped out at me and stuck with me and it's just um, yeah I'm really enjoying the writing it's very beautiful lyrical writing and um, full of metaphors that are just easy for kids to still understand but with a lot of meaning and a lot of weight behind them. This is a really bad angle but my camera's not working so I have to use my iPhone and prop it up on something. Um, yeah, well, sorry. Um, so I just wanted to hop on and tell you guys how much I enjoyed A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. Uh, it really surprised me how much I enjoyed it. I chose it because half of it was set in Japan and the other half is set in BC. And Japan's a place I really want to go. Um, it follows a dual narrative of uh, this character Ruth and then this character Now. And Now is a teenager that lives in Japan. And um, she's this suicidal teenager, but she's an absolutely hilarious character. She's got so much humor with her sections. They had It had me laughing out loud at some parts. Um, and she's just, she's so well done. And on audiobook, the story is fantastic. It's told by Ruth Ozeki herself, and she has really distinct voices for both of the characters. So you can tell when Ruth's talking, and you can tell when Now's talking. And um, yeah, it was just so well done. I uh, really enjoyed the themes as well. They're really dark. Um, they, the most prominent theme is probably suicide, uh, because now the, char the character now is suicidal and her father suicidal and the book just handles the dark topics really well and levels it out with a lot of humor um so the book isn't the book itself isn't really dark the book is actually really funny and really interesting to read i really enjoy the characters in this one um there's also themes of identity and bullying and family and i think those are all really strong themes and they're handled really well and yeah I really enjoyed reading this book. I'm really glad I picked it up and I would highly recommend it to somebody else. Okay, so here we are, day four of the Reading Rush Challenge, the Stay Home Reading Rush Challenge. It's the last day. I'm excited because this is a fun day. It's books that make you smile and I'm super excited for the books that I chose for this one. Uh, the first ones I'm going to do are some picture books. I have about four picture books today that I wanted to do. Um, some of the books that I've read before but I'm reading them again with my kids today because I want to smile and have fun with them today and, um, and they kind of all sort of work together in a theme. So um, the first picture books I'm choosing are Prince and Knight. Uh, this one is by Daniel Hack and illustrations by Stevie Lewis and it's um, a really cool <laughs> book. It's an LGBTQIA book uh, representing two gay men who are uh, who fall in love. It's like a fairy tale classic fairy tale premise where um, you know usually it would be the prince and the princess who meet and fall in love at first sight and get married and live happily ever after and you don't see that kind of premise for a lot of um, books that are representing LGBTQIA characters so that's why this is really special because it's um, showing that two men can fall in love to a prince and a knight they instantly fall in love and they get married and it's actually a happy ending where the king and the queen approve of the marriage and they're like yay my son the prince has found true love and we're so happy for them and it's this beautiful wedding at the end and it's just like a really happy feel-good book that puts a huge smile on your face 
puts a huge smile on my face, puts a huge smile on my kids' faces. They love this book. They just want to read it over and over and over again. It, I mean, what's not to love? There's princes, there's dragons, there's castles, there's a dragon. Did I mention that? <laughs> um, and a knight. And um, they, yeah, it's just a really fun book and a really great uh, read. Make you, makes you smile, makes you happy about the representation in it. And uh, yeah, so this book is really awesome. Uh, the novel that I'm reading for myself today, again, not trying to finish this novel because I'm setting realistic goals for myself, um, but it's called The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. I'm gonna try and do the like chapter four or five goal again today. Um, and uh, this is a another LGBTQIA book and it's also, um, you know, to do with like sort of space kind of theme. Um, sort of. So um, I'll do my review of this book again later too as well, but I'm excited to read this. It's been on my list for a long time and um, it's a 2019 book, so I guess not that long, but it, it's a book that I'm excited for. So I'll be doing this one and um, after we'll be doing this one with me as well and we'll be doing a review of it together later in the day to round off our final Reading Rush challenge. Let me fix my mic. My mic looks super stupid. Um. <laughs> Um, so how'd the readathon go for you? Uh, the readathon went well. Um, I didn't get to do a lot of reading from the novels, mostly from the picture books, but, um, I set some realistic goals for myself, I think, and I got most of those goals met, <laughs> <laughs> mostly doing, like, you know, reading a few chapters from the novels that I chose getting a taste of it. I almost finished one of my books that I had was already like halfway through the one, um, all the stars and teeth. Right. Right. Not there yet. I'm like at the climax part of it. Um, and, uh, the other two novels that I tried to do, I just got like the first few chapters and just like a little taste of it. And then picture mm -hmm. books, which worked really well. I did quite a few picture books actually. So I call that a win. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds like a win. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mine went pretty well. I got a book read yesterday. So the full book read. Um, but today did not go very well. <laughs> I, we were, we were creating bike ramps outside. So. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a lot more fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to have more than just, just reading, but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's it, you know, like it's fun to do these challenges, but it's also like good to be realistic about it. And if you just don't have that kind of, you know, time to just sit there and read all day as much as I would love to have that much time. But, you know, if that's not practical, then at least it's still fun to like try and participate. And then, you know, if you just get a chapter two read like I did, well, at least you're reading something and you're getting your feet wet and, you know, feeling like you're in a another word world for a few minutes anyway yeah yeah exactly and today's book was pretty good so far yeah I think that's the cool part about this challenge actually too is that like all the books that I read were good like all of the ones that yeah I read, anyway, were good for me yes yeah, same with the ones that I tried to read they were all they were all really good um that's good yeah I mean yesterday's was particularly awesome um today's was really good so far I only made it to chapter five but it was I like was... the premise of this one a lot the gravity of us I like the premise of it it's like it seems like a strong idea and a unique idea and I'm excited to see like where it goes yeah and, and like, I like how modern it feels which is kind of you know yeah and the beginning was way better than I thought the whole book would be so, okay, <laughs> so well, that's always good. <laughs> yeah yeah it was like it's just captivating and the character is great and yeah, yeah. I, know, I wasn't sure about what the writing style would be like. I just I heard a lot about this book through social media because I follow Phil Stamper on Twitter, right? Um, and I've seen him like promoting his book since last year when it you know came out, right? So mm -hmm. um, I've been excited for it for a while, but without really knowing much more than the premise of it. Um, so yeah, I also enjoyed the writing, which is always good, and I think already that I'll uh, connect with the character, which is a huge thing, obviously. Yeah. I know. I'm super inter interested in space and Mars trips, so... Yes, I actually thought whole... as soon as I started reading this, I was like, oh, I think <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mars trips, I was like, wait a minute, I feel like I had this conversation the whole... with Aston. 
<laughs> the whole premise. Like, I love the whole premise. And, and the character is super relatable, so I totally understand the story. And yeah. Yeah, and I, th- I think... I think overall the whole book's gonna go and be really positive and um, be really good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm expecting so. sort of like a four star review. Yeah, I could see that yeah. for sure. Yeah. I, I'm kind of expecting that from most of mine. Like the middle grade novel I read yesterday, I think I'll probably be doing that as well. Although again, you never know because sometimes if the endings are bad, it really messes up what kind of review you'll give it. Right. Um, yeah. But. You know, good, strong writing at the beginning is always a good indicator. So well, have you had fun with the challenge at least? I've had a lot of fun with the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, fir- the I first day good. I skipped. <laughs> yes. But the, se- the second day I read two books in one. Um, one of them was a picture book. So it was a little bit more simple. <laughs> um, but the other one was graphic novel. And that was, that was, book was awesome. That was great. Yeah. Awesome. Um. I would definitely do this again. Yes. If... I'm looking forward to the summer one. And now that I know kind of like what to expect to from it, I hope that I can plan it a little bit better so that I can actually get more reading done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And... Is there any book in particular that you really enjoyed? Um, definitely. All the Stars and Teeth was just like a fun one. It's like not one that I would call you know, like a deep um, kind of literary book, but it's a fun book. It's like, I think I said in my video description, it's basically Pirates of the Caribbean with magic. So, I mean, it's fun. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Awkward librarian fun! Awkward librarian fun! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to stop recording now. (laughs) 